husband swears he won't cheat again. I believed him, but now I'm not so sure. I don't know what he's done a second time when you should have already been not sure on the first time. Wow. My ex, who we'll call Mike, I hate Mike, and I were together since we were 14 and got married at 22. Wow. We have two kids together, 15 female and 11 male. My ex's work takes him all over the country for a week every quarter. And on one of those trips, guess what he did, Sam? What did he do? He bought gifts for the family. Hmm. Just kidding. He hooked up with one of his coworkers. No, she wasn't ready. Yikes. I never thought he could do something like that because a relationship was really solid. He confessed immediately after he got home. I actually would have never found out if he didn't. He begged me for forgiveness and said that he still loved me and it was a lapse in judgment, but he said he would understand if I wanted a divorce, which is what eventually happened. It was very amicable and he actually gave me more than I expected expected house, child support, alimony, etc. It was a slow process, but over the years, we became friends again and have a very good co-parenting dynamic. Mike's a great father and the kids still love him. I got married three years after and Mike was very supportive. That is good. Now, I divorced my second husband two years ago. This was because he changed his mind on kids. I wanted one last baby. It's uh, interesting that like one more kid is the deal breaker. Now, since the lockdown, Mike has been over frequently. And at this point, our relationship relationship is so good that we don't need to enforce any of the set visits and things like that. Well, things have been getting hot and steamy between oh, do us. Oh, tell OP. But this has been going down between us for the last few months. And then we started doing it. I'm a woman with needs too. And to be very honest with you guys, he's still the best guy I've been with after all these years. Mm, mm, mm. It's like our bodies were made for each other. He's always joked that we were prime Pippin and Jordan in a sack. And it felt like we were back 10 years ago when we were still together. Just a few hours ago, Big Mike brought up the idea of us getting back together. Big Mike. He gave me the most genuine speech about how stupid he was the night he cheated and how he had never stopped loving me in the past 10 years. I was speechless and couldn't say anything. So he just gave me his usual toothy smile and said, it's okay. I'll wait before driving home. My man is smooth. Yo. Now I'm lying here in bed typing this out. Yeah, she is. I would be lying to you guys if I said I didn't love him. I'd be lying if I said the last few months weren't the happiest I'd been in years. And I'd be lying if I said I never forgave him for cheating. If I had to decide right now, I'd jump out of bed, drive to his house, and bring his fraps home. It's taking all my willpower not to do so. I love him. However, I also want to be thinking with my brain here. Quick pros and cons. He's a great dad and the kids would have him around more. He's a great provider. He says he still wants kids and I still love him. The cons, I don't know yet, but maybe there's something you can help me with. Any advice on how to proceed? I mean, the cons are maybe he cheats on you again. It's been a few days now since I've posted and Reddit has given me some solid advice. What's that advice, Reddit? I'm very grateful because this helped me calm down and not give in to my impulses. The morning after I posted, I texted Big Mike Big saying Mike. that I needed some time and space to think about everything. He then replied with, I've waited 10 years. I can wait a bit longer. Yo, man is smooth as frank. Smooth as butter. When the kids woke up, our son was looking for his big daddy. There's no way <laughs> no. <laughs> says that. He's at the gate now, and he's pretty much idolized his dad. I get why, though. Mike is an amazing dad, and our daughter gave me the stank eye all morning. So I guess they know like what time it is. They know what's what's happening right now. After lunch, when our son was in his room playing video games, my daughter confronted me about Mike. Oh, oh snap. She basically said how she knew that there was something going on. She said that she didn't want our fighting to affect yeah, mom, their lives. Yeah, mommy, daddy, I hear you yelling all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she thought we were fighting. Now, the divorce affected her, but not as badly as expected. We made sure to get her counseling immediately after and made extra sure that her life was as normal as possible. I'm not going to delude myself and think that she wasn't hurt by it, but I'm pretty confident in saying that we've dealt with it pretty well. I then had the conversation about how we weren't fighting, but uh, <laughs> quite the opposite, little mm -hmm. lady. We were thinking about getting back together. Oh, she thought about it for a while and said that she was happy for us and hoped it was forever this time. 
time. Oh. Uh, the next day, I dropped my kids off at my parents' house so I could talk to Mike at his place. We had a long talk about how we felt and about each other, what we planned to do about it going forward, and what he planned to do next time we hit a rough patch, especially since we plan on having a third kid. He told me that night he cheated still haunted him 10 years later. He told me how it wasn't worth it one bit and how it was the biggest mistake of his life. He said if he ever hit a rough patch again, we would talk about it like adults. We even suggested we do couples counseling every now and then, even when times are good. I like this idea. There are some details about the conversation that I want to keep private, but long story short, we got back together. We're going to take it slow. Mm. And in every step we take, we both agreed that our children would take priority over everything. He's not going to move in yet, but he would spend a few nights a week with us at home. Later that night, we sat the kids down and broke the news. Daughter didn't say much because she already knew, but our son was over the moon. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. He's like, ah, oh, my parents are getting back together. Sick. Very nice. Since we divorced when he was a baby, the concept of both of his parents being together is still quite new to him. They obviously asked questions and we answered them. We're also planning on doing family counseling to make the transition easier for everybody. Overall, I'm really happy right now. Mike made a mistake 10 years ago, but I don't hold it against him and I've completely forgiven him for it. I know he loves me now and won't cheat on me anymore. I'm back together now with the love of my life, the father of my kids. Wow. And I couldn't be any happier. Good for you, OP. If you thought that was crazy, check out this one where OP gets cheated on and gets sweet revenge by deporting their ex. 